Ooh, what's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here. And this episode is just a random, not a uh, video in, in, a, in a Let's Play or anything. It's just, I, I wanted to do a little science experiment. I, I've been wondering uh, how good the, uh, how, how close to real life the effect of being drunk in Grand Theft Auto 4 is to being, uh, yeah, to being drunk in real life. So I decided to do a little experiment and find out just how good the programmers got it in terms of uh, comparing a being drunk in the game versus being drunk while you play it. So I devised a little experiment on what I have done is I've put together a course uh, basically just driving from the safe house in Broker to the safe house in Bohan. This is a route that I know really well, and that most players would know really well, because you drive it a lot in the course of the game. So, I think that eliminates the variable of me getting better as I do it on different trials. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive this course five times. The first time, the time you're seeing right now, uh, I didn't do any commentary while I was playing. This, will be, this is post-commentary, because this is basically the ideal conditions. I'm sober in real life, I'm sober in the game, and I'm not thinking about commentary, I'm just driving. I still managed to do a pretty poor job. But, uh, so this is like the best possible score. And then the other four times, I'm going to be uh, sober real life, sober in the game, and all the, other, all the other four times I'm doing commentary. So it'll be like, sober in, in real life, sober in the game, sober in real life, drunk in the game, drunk in real life, sober in the game, and drunk in both. Uh, which is, I anticipate, being a complete disaster, but it should be fun to watch. So this was the sober run, uh, sober in game, sober in real life, without commentary. So this would be like the best possible number. At the end of the video, I'll display all the results and we'll see which run is the fastest. But uh, yeah, that's it. On to the next one. Alrighty then, this is the sober run with commentary. I hope this video is entertaining for you guys. It's definitely a little thought experiment for me. and. Uh, it's, I think I think this is gonna be this is gonna be fun, especially the second half of the video, where I ah that turn is so hard to make. It's just a totally right angle turn, uh, and you have to slow down quite a lot for it. I'm having a hell of a time here, actually. Yeah, just the commentary alone, I think is gonna be a negative factor, but the drinking I think is gonna make me even worse, because I, as an LPer, I've been doing this for I guess five years or so. Actually, yeah, in the fall. Well, in the summer, yeah, summer to late, late summer to fall, it'll be five years, and I've gotten pretty decent at talking and playing, and I oh, did not power slide even close to in time for that. That is quite poor. Looks like the controls are not quite right on this car. Maybe it's just because I'm rushing. That's definitely part of it. See, I don't have, uh, I'm not looking at the results as I go along here. Uh, I don't have the clock up on my screen as I'm playing. So I'm not even looking at that. I'm focusing entirely on the gameplay for each of these trials. In each run, I'm going to be just totally focused on what I'm doing uh, and hopefully avoid any lurking variables. I, th I think I've already talked about the fact that I know this course well enough that it's that the number of times, the order I do them in is not really going to matter. I've just chosen the order we're doing because obviously I can't do the drunk ones first because <laughs> that would take me too long to sober up. Oh, missed me. I love evading the guys that try and roadblock you. They're so easy to get around, though. It's hardly even a challenge. Ooh, okay, that was pretty good. Let's see if I can... Yeah, yeah. Oh, not... Oh, come on. That sign is unbreakable. Ah, get out of here. Almost there, almost there. Just gotta get in my parking space. Is that car in the way? Done. Ah, uh, no. Done. Okay. Whew! That was fun. Alright, I'm gonna drive back, reset, and, uh... The next one, I will be drunk in-game, which means we're going to have Roman as our passenger. Alrighty then, I am drunk, but only in the game. Ow, I'm falling into the street. Jeez. Well, I guess it's time to, time to get in the car and take Roman home. I'm glad this isn't a part of my time. Here we go. Alright, alright. Me too. If you drink and drive, Nico, you're a bloody idiot. Alright, here goes. And we're away. This is not gonna go well. As usual, one smell of the okay. ale has the rum and melon is about to fall. I am driving right past the police station. Clearly intoxicated. Now I have a wonder rating. I'm an animal. 
This is not going well. Already, this is a problem. Oh, Jesus. This is making me nauseous. Holy crap. I can't... <laughs> If I was drunk in real life and trying to drive like this, that would be. This is gonna. That's gonna be ridiculous later on today. Oh man. I sleep. I drink. All right, Roman, take it easy. I actually escaped the wanted rating, didn't I? That's hilarious. Oh, oh, the camera got a little bit better there. I think I'm sobering just a tiny bit. I feel like by the time we get to the safe house, we'll be about the same point where you actually become. Oh, yeah, there we go. A little bit less blurring. The blurring is intermittent now. <laughs> there goes the hood! Jeez, that car just, like, materialized. The blurring is so, so bad that you can't get a, a good uh, gauge on how fast things around you are moving. <laughs> I'm just running into parked cars now. Okay, the control stick turns itself left and right. Like, oh, jeez. You just drive in a straight line. It looks like I'm weaving all over the place, like I'm actually drunk. So, I mean, I think the programmers got that pretty much right. Except, I mean, you'd have to be really slammed to drive this bad. Uh, so, that's what I'm trying to figure out here. I feel like uh, I could not drink enough in, in real life to drive this bad. <laughs> it's just, oh man. Okay, it's getting a little better. I'm going to try and go a little faster. I got to make up lost time from the beginning. Now I'm wanted again. <laughs> like how Roman's like, it's the pigs! It's like, that's the police, Roman. <laughs> uh, oh my, don't flip the car. Oh, I apologize for the terrible wobbly camera. That's... Oh, it's still doing the steering wheel thing. The vision's getting a little bit better. Ah, but the steering wheel sucks! It just turns left and right by itself. I'm just trying to go straight. That's all. <laughs> it's nuts! Pardon me, sir. Okay, oh, it's getting a little better now. Still still slight wiggling on the thumbstick. I'm just going straight here. The car just seems to want to drift left and right. Oh, cheesy. Whoa! Mika's spinning out by himself now. He's turning the wheel so hard. What's funny is that in the plot, Nico is described so well as a very good driver, which I guess is sort of a reference to your skill as a player. But in all these scenes where he gets drunk, he just totally loses it. All right, almost there. And stop! That counts. Close enough! You, we should hang out again soon. Do, 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 do. Alright! That's it for the sober time trials we did without commentary. Uh, with commentary. And, oh, sure, whatever. Without commentary, with commentary, and drunk in game. The next one up is sober in the game, drunk in real life. So. I'm going to go crack open some beers, and I will be back when I am no longer fit to drive. Alrighty then. <coughs> Fuck you, barrels. Every goddamn time. It's barrels. Alright, here we go, here we go. To the toll booth. The toll booth! Ah, oh, he clears it clean! 10 out of 10! Beautiful execution! Oh god, I came in parallel park when I'm sober. Jeez. Alrighty then. I'm drunk and Nico isn't. Here we go. Oh, it's so very exciting. I, I get the sneaking feeling that my intoxication is going to be much less of a problem than Nico's was. Because when Nico gets really drunk, he drives and swerves all over the road for no reason. Whereas, if I'm drunk and I just do nothing, you know, you know he goes straight like he's supposed to. So pretty much, as long as I go just a tiny bit slower and, and be a little more cautious by consciously compensating for my... Oh, I can't think of another word that starts with C. Darn. There goes my uh, alliteration. Oh well. As long as I'm consciously compensating for my... Oh, that's the cops! Increased speed. I'll be fine. Because uh, I'm going to correct for it. And I'll be driving just peachy. Peachy keen, my friends. So I just made a vlog video. If you guys uh, have lost track of my vlog channel at some point in the past six months while I haven't been putting up videos, you should go and look at it again because uh, it's, uh, it's back. And there's going to be videos up on there 
a lot because I have a lot of goals that I'm trying to reach and things that I'm trying to do. Making this video was actually a small goal for me, and so I gotta say I'm uh, I'm excited that I'm here in progress, working towards completing it. That's a good feeling. Why are all these cars in my way? Get out of my way, cars! Toll booths, what a joke. Who pays toll booths toll, man? <laughs> I got the whole, uh, uh, who pays toll booth tolls. Where else would you pay a toll besides a toll booth? Like a bridge in the Middle Ages? I have no idea. Or bandits have taken the bridge and they want a hundred gold pieces for you to cross. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, if my driving skill hasn't deteriorated, my commentary certainly has. That much is obvious. Oh, but we're almost there, and I feel like I actually made really good time. Yes! That was beautiful! I've arrived without, without even having a wanted rating on me. I, I had one twice, and I lost it twice, which is impressive. Oh. But now the hardest part. I'm going to reset, which is I'm, I'm loading this same save over and over again so that I get consistency in my runs. And I'm going to go and get Roman, and we're going to be drunk in-game and in real life. Oh, that couldn't have gone much worse. Did the toll booth guy have a gun? What the hell is that about? The guy in the toll booth is not supposed to have a gun. That's weird. And maybe in New York City, but no toll booth I've ever gone through have I noticed a <laughs> an attendant who's packing heat. One thing's for sure, there are definitely more civilian casualties when I'm driving drunk. Oh man. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to drive here. Don't you honk it. Don't don't you give me a wanted rating for honking at you? Jeez! La Cucina? That's kitchen. That's not cousin. Aww. Oh, it's been too long. After. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! That truck just ran into that pole all by himself. Get! 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 Get out of the way! Alrighty then, we're falling down in the street drunk. In the game, at least. In real life, I'm only moderately drunk. I've had three and a half beers in about an hour, which essentially translates to I am definitely over the limit. And I gotta say, I'm over the limit in game too. Oh come on, I was going straight. I was going straight, and I still got a wanted rating. Oh, oh this is good. Wow, I'm actually driving. Whoa, unforeseen conclusions. I gotta say, it feels at least. Like I'm driving better, drunk real life, drunken game, than when I was sober real life, drunken game. Maybe, maybe it's because I'm not overcorrecting. Or maybe, maybe Nico's right. Maybe I'm drunk. Just because <laughs> you should not step into the ring for me. What does he mean perform right now? Like he can't get it up because he's too drunk? I don't want to hear about that, Roman. That is personal business, man. I don't think even your cousin wants to know about that kind of detail, you know? You just keep that to yourself, alright? I know you have whiskey dick, Walmart. Oh, jeez, that cop just ran right into me. Can you believe the improper behavior that the police officers in this city frequently exhibit? <laughs> Said the guy who's driving drunk and running over pedestrians. Oh, don't get the car stuck upside down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, abandon ship. Get a new car. Quickly. Where's the other car? There it is, right there. Quick, I'm, I'm too drunk to run. Oh, I'm falling on my face. Oh. Oh, Roman's falling on top of me. I'm getting arrested. No, I'm not. No, I'm running. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> this is me resisting arrest. <laughs> I'm just staggering. <laughs> I can't even. <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, no, no. Don't. No, get in the car. Get in the car. Roman. Get in, Roman. Oh, and I'm dead. Fucking barrels! Oh, what are you then? That last attempt at driving didn't uh, go in as a data point because I got killed by the police! So the goal now becomes to actually freaking make it there. I don't know if I remembered to stipulate that at the beginning of this video, but obviously I'm not going to take any data points that are illegitimate sort of outliers because 
if I get so, if I perform so badly that I get arrested, I wouldn't call that like infinite amount of time that it took or a failure. I, I, I still need a data point, so basically I'm just gonna write down. Oh, it, this one took three tries. This one took two tries. Whatever, and I'll just go again. No big deal. You will learn a lot. Yeah, I, don't, I really don't feel like Roman has much to say about pleasing women. I don't think he's been with a single woman since he got to the United States. Let's be honest, Roman's kind of a loser, and everyone knows it. Here I am, drunk in real life, drunk in the game. Uh, I haven't actually explained it completely, but uh, in real life, I have had... Oh, I, I maybe I did say it, actually. Three and a half beers in four... Or, blah, 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 three and a half beers in an hour. So I'm not so drunk that my vision is doing this really annoying thing that the game's screen is doing. But I'm definitely far more uh, intoxicated than I could ever be and legally drive. I wouldn't uh, attempt to posit an estimate of my blood alcohol content, but it would definitely be over 0.08. I think it actually would be called something about 0 0.09, 0 0.1. would probably be a pretty close estimate. Get out of my way, taxi! Give me a big yellow blur in my vision. Oh man, this is horrible. Don't flip the car. Last, the reason I got killed last time was because I flipped the car over. If I had been able to stay in the vehicle and keep on its wheels, it wouldn't have been that bad, honestly. I would have gotten, I would have gotten away, and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling kids. Said every Scooby-Doo villain ever. Why was it always just a guy in a mask in the show, but then in the movies it was actual zombies? Like, what? What's the deal with that? Oh, good lord! I came and. I can't even aim long enough to go through the toll booth. And yet, somehow, I feel like I'm driving better drunk drunk than I did sober drunk. Maybe it's just my brain, but... Oh, don't flip the car over, please. Maybe it's just a placebo effect, or the fact that I can't perceive how bad I'm doing. But, uh, definitely I'm getting that impression. Can I, can I, can I do a J-turn here, please? Yeah, look at that! Even drunk drunk, I can still pull off a J-turn with a uh, modicum of success. Excuse me, sir. Taxi driver. Oh man, I've run into probably every car I've gone past so far. Approximately every single one. <laughs> I'll be about I'll be about accurate, I think. All right, we're there. And time. Yellow. Thank you, cousin. We should hang out again soon. Dun 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 dun. dun. <laughs> Still wanted, but it doesn't matter. As long as I make it there. No, no, no. Yeah, no, I don't... Oh, God, I don't care. Just stop, please. And... That's it. The next segment of the video I'm going to make tomorrow when I'm sober and I can actually edit, and it will be a discussion of which parts were the fastest, which parts were the slowest, and whether it turned out to be better or worse to be drunk in real life versus drunk in the game. Oh, by lamppost! Death by lamppost! Cool guys, don't look at explosions! Alrighty then, it's the next day. I've sobered up. And I've had time to look at the results. So I'll give you a moment to just check out the numbers there. I think the trend is clear pretty immediately. Although, statistically, these numbers aren't significant, since I only did each, uh, each experimental group one time, uh, I still think the trend is, is fairly clear. So the ideal time where I, didn't have, where I was sober in the game and uh, in real life, and I wasn't even doing commentary, was a minute and 54 seconds. And then the two other runs where I was sober in-game came very close to that, only four or five seconds over, uh, which I thought was interesting, because if you compare uh, my sober sober uh, with my drunk sober run, I actually went faster when I was drunk, <laughs> which is like, what? That's That was sort of not what I was expecting, but I suppose it might be possible that... Uh, the fact that I was drunk in real life, but the game was uh, not drunk, so it, it was playing just fine, it actually made me more reckless and drive faster, which, I mean, is what drunk drivers do. So, uh, my time actually uh, decreased 
my speed increased uh, in that one. So that was interesting. Uh, I just I, I couldn't believe that at first, but that kind of makes sense. But the more interesting result is that when I was drunk in game, it didn't matter very much whether I was sober or drunk in real life. Each each of those uh, added about a minute to my time, which would be uh, about a 50% increase. So it went from about two minutes to about three. I think this is interesting. Uh, I certainly didn't expect uh, drunk Poncho to be able to drive as well as sober Poncho, but apparently in Grand Theft Auto, he can. <laughs> Whereas Nico, when he gets drunk, just can't, cannot hold it together. Now, one uh, objection people might have to this is that uh, Nico was slurring speech, staggering around, falling on his face drunk, and I was uh, over the limit, but nowhere near as drunk as Nico. Uh, to that, I say, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Maybe if I was so drunk that I couldn't even walk, I would have worse times. But uh, I don't think that would be a very fun video to make. <laughs> So, it was hard enough as it, as it was drinking four beers in an hour. I, I never drink that fast, so uh, <laughs> I was definitely feeling it. I think it's an interesting result, one way or the other. Tell me, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think about this. Whether you think it's interesting, and of course, at some point, I'm gonna have to do a sequel in Grand Theft Auto V uh, whenever I come around to buying it. So, th once again, thanks for watching. I hope this wasn't totally boring for you guys, and maybe you learned something about drunk driving in Grand Theft Auto. See you next time. Dun 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 dun.